Well, I didn't know what he meant back then. I was just a child and a teenager in my early 20s. But my grandfather always used to say that to people straight to their face. Sometimes it was, you know, behind their backs. But uh, it wasn't anything that he wouldn't tell them straight to their face. He would just tell somebody if he didn't agree with them that they were full. Of, they were full of it. I won't use the exact metaphor. It has something to do with manure, but it's a phrase that means something entirely different. But uh, he said you would. You're so full. Of, you're so full of it. Uh, if he didn't agree with you, but uh, it was his way of diplomatically uh, saying, "Hey, I don't agree." But he had a kind of a slanted form of humor, which I understood, and I laughed at it, but uh, certain other members of my family didn't quite get it, they didn't understand his sense of humor, it was kind of dry and kind of English, kind of sarcastic, it comes from, it's from his blood, from the area that he was from, over there in Scandinavia and Europe, East uh, what, uh, Europe of uh, that area, Ireland and England and all those areas, but it's kind of dry humor, you know, not kind of not tactful, but uh, kind of rude, obnoxious, flamboyant. That's how they are. <laughs> but yeah, he. Had, but I understood it. I laughed at his jokes. I laughed at his com comical, comical gestures. But uh, you know. Uh, <sighs> We were buddies, and we got along great, and uh, I loved spending time with him. He taught me a few things when it came to agriculture and certain other principles, that uh, some of which I did put in practice, some of, them I, some of them I kind of ignored or just said, yeah, maybe later, when it came to financial advice, you know, how to invest, how to be a financially wise steward. Uh, I was kind of young and living for the now, for the moment, for, 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 for whatever was pleasurable and exciting and fun for the, for the duration, for that particular time period. I didn't really think about the future too much. You know, I was just, I was really young. I was in my teenage and early 20s, and I really don't, didn't put much emphasis on, on, on what was, you know, 30, 40 years later. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm about middle-aged, and so now I'm starting to realize the, the, uh, the wisdom in what he said, and, the, uh, and a lot of it was true, that, uh, you know, you want to be a wise steward with your resources. You want to be prudent. You want to be... Uh, you know, you got to be diplomatic when it came when it comes to relationships with other people. And he certainly was. My grandfather was very diplomatic. He would mow other people's lawns and help them out any way he could. Either, either if they were if they were down and out uh, financially, he would help them out. If he, if if if, uh, if they needed a hand physically, you know, practically and physically, he would do that. Either himself or or hire someone to help him. <laughs> 